In this video, we're gonna talk about a new tool designed to ease the animation workflow in 3ds Max. This bookmarking tool is similar to the Time Slider bookmarks in Maya. It was actually inspired by it initially, and it helps animators keep their work organized. You can quickly create new visual bookmarks, modify properties like changing the name, color, range, and comments, and pick a camera to link knowing that the camera will switch in the current view when the frame enters a new bookmark. Then you can use those properties you set to navigate your animation, isolate specific time ranges, move and scale keyframes, retime, and more. Additionally, there is auto key on the first frame, where you will set the first key at the start of the timeline, so when you maximize a bookmark and start to animate, the first key is not always on frame 0, but on the start frame on the bookmark. You also have the ability to apply bookmarks on scene root as well as on objects so each scene or object can have its own bookmarks. You can easily navigate between bookmarks, and you can copy, paste, merge, and resize them. You can also copy, paste, and retime keys, unlock keys to bookmarks, which is nice. This tool also has a bookmark manager, which allows you to edit multiple bookmarks at the same time and applies tools to all of them. Using it, you can enter a name, a start and end frame, a color, and add a bookmark if the space is empty. In addition to that, you can also edit and delete bookmarks if the space is available. This tool is not perfect and still needs some refining, but we are expecting some improvements in the next versions, like fixing the toolbar height that is by default larger than it should be and doesn't scale down automatically. Note that you don't need a license to open scenes with bookmarks, but you will need one to edit or visualize them. If you are interested, you can find the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below to let us know what you think. Also, you can check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.